This is Congressman John Boehner. Today was an important day on Capitol Hill as the House cast its first votes on the House Democrats' trillion dollar stimulus spending bill. We put together this short video to give you a behind the scenes look at the new House GOP leadership team in action as House Republicans prepared to take a stand for American taxpayers. The day starts with a morning huddle in my office where the leadership team meets to talk about the day ahead. The morning news is grim. More job losses, middle class families struggling to make ends meet. Action is needed to help our economy uh, protect and create jobs. But the trillion dollar spending bill written by our Democrat colleagues is still loaded with billions in extra spending that won't help the economy. Money will take from our kids and grandkids in an act of generational theft. Americans deserve better. Conference Chairman Mike Pence and I meet with print reporters to share our disappointment with the bill as written and repeat our desire to work with the President on a bipartisan bill. The millions of Americans that Democrats have uh, brought to the floor a purely partisan bill uh, that does not uh, reflect either in content or uh, tone the bipartisan challenge uh, that President Obama reiterated in meeting with Republicans in the House yesterday. Uh, thanks, Mike. Uh, as Mike said, uh, House Republicans want to work with President Obama uh, to refocus this bill on immediate job creation and tax relief. And the bill that we have on the floor today uh, just doesn't cut it. Can you talk about the specific items that Well, it looks as though they're going to take the money out uh, to fix up the National Mall and that they're going to take out the family planning funds uh, that are in the bill. Two steps in the right direction. But there are still hundreds of billions of dollars of other wasteful spending uh, in the bill. After lunch, Speaker Nancy Pelosi holds a press conference that makes it official. Instead of fixing the serious flaws, the Democratic leadership is plowing ahead with a vote on this partisan bill. Preventing job losses. Uh, that's the test. Because at the end of the day, America needs this bill to work. A short time later, Republicans respond. We're going out to the cameras to make it clear. The House Republicans are standing firm against this bloated bill. But we aren't just saying no. We're offering a better solution, a plan by Dave Camp and Eric Cantor that will create twice as many jobs at half the cost. Finally, House Republicans take to the floor. Most House Republicans will oppose this bill tonight for one reason. It won't work. More big government spending. But when you have $136 billion of additional new programs in this bill, you've got to ask, how stimulative are these new programs? What about the small businesses, the entrepreneurs, the self-employed that are out there? In the end, House Republicans stood united against House Democrats' partisan proposal. But today's vote was just the beginning, and it has to be just the beginning. The economic crisis facing our country is real and requires real solutions. Republicans are ready to work with President Obama on a bill focused on immediate job creation and tax relief. But someone has to stand up for American taxpayers, too. House Republicans are going to do that. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, go to gopleader.gov.